Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just posting a response to Ed T1138's video on three games that you purchase systems for. Now I'm breaking this down to the three games that I actually purchased three different systems in order to play. Uh, the first one is that we actually traded in, I believe it was our PlayStation 2 at the time, to get this, or it might have been the Xbox, I don't remember which one I was favoring, but it was Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Loved this game, uh, played it with my niece and nephew, my wife even played it, my son played it, he was very small at the time, uh, we only had one of them at that point. But that made me buy the GameCube, loved that game. Uh, the iterations after that, uh, the DS one's okay, the Wii one's pretty cool, I like the Wii one playing that right now. Now the second game is a game that this could have been the only game in the console. And for most of us, uh, us po folk, it probably was. And that is Tetris. Now this, for the Game Boy, came with it. This was probably the only thing, it's probably the only game that I had for a about a year because I got the Game Boy for Christmas and my birthday isn't until November so that would have meant that it was like 11 months of Tetris and then I think I got Wizards and Warriors and the Batman game which I'm still trying to track down because it was one of the only few Batman games that was good now the last game I don't have a box to show because it doesn't come in a box. But the whole reason, and I mean the reason, that I really wanted to get a PlayStation 3 was because of Flower. Now I know a lot of you might be like, ah, Flower, whatever. Flower's a great game. I'll admit, a little bit of a softy teared up at the end. When I figured out what was actually going on, a little tear. Anyways. But those are the three games that made me purchase systems. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, as always, play on! Awesome, awesome, awesome.